Hi everybody, welcome back to part three of the build. And now we're making real big movements on the kitchen and the end of the bed. So there's loads to see, loads to go on and we've got lots to do. Okay, so I've cut this center bar. Now, what's gonna happen is one part of the bedboard will be attached to this side via a hinge, and one part of the bed will be attached to this side via a hinge as well. So I need to secure this center support for the hinges, and then I need to cut the boards for each side of the bed. So for now, I'm gonna show you, I'm literally gonna countersink this and drill it in. Putting in the centre one first, so that I measure both ends to make sure the bed, these each board is exactly square. I'm not putting any flashy screw cups on these because it doesn't need it. This part of the bed is going to be hidden by the mattress. Right, so I have a measurement of both ends of 590 millimeters, or 59 centimeters, depending on which money you use. Right, so just to be sure that's fixed, I've put one more screw in the middle of those, each screw each end. If I don't drop my drill first. There you go, that is now secure in there. I'll give this a quick hoover off to keep it tidy in here. I'm gonna cut the two boards on both sides. I'm gonna to come to fitting those, I'll come back to you. Right, just to let you know what I've done with this bed board, I've rounded off and gave them some radiuses. This is gonna be the end, right end of the bed for the back by the back door. And this is gonna be the hinge side. I've also drilled a series of holes 
for ventilation for the mattress and I've also chamfered off the edges with a router bit so there's no sharp edges what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tea trim this edge because I've routed that out and then install this part in the van right so there you go the first half of the bed is done and that's the back half here so I've piano hinged along that strip there, if you can see, just here. There's a nice piano hinge along there. You can lift this up, I put my finger in this hole, but there will be a proper handle on it. And that gives you access to here. That is more of a maintenance lid rather than access. But still, it's nice to keep it trimmed. Hi everybody, it's another day and we're back on the bed build. And I've had air cut. Or should I say, I've been scalped. Right, so today, we're gonna to be working on the front of the bed. And in particularly, this section here. This is gonna be built in two sections. The section here that covers the storage on this side and then the section over there, which is gonna be beside the fridge. Because to access that side, you will need to lift the bed. Now, I've purposely done that because I thought some people have rubbish and junk and stuff they wanna store, but they don't access or need access to regularly. So that's a perfect spot. Also a perfect little hidey hole. This section could be for clothes, bedding, literally anything. So this little part here is the bit that I'm working on. I've cut the wood out, I've scribed it in. Now I'm working on making the two doors for the front of this. Let's go back to the bench. Right, okay, I'm using one of the templates for the doors, which is that one just there. Uh, this is the same template. So what I've done is I've done my measurements Excuse the flickering lines, it's the LED, it's the lights, and the camera picking up. So there's the line of the door. I've masked it off and taped it off. So now what I need to do is measure in and then draw another line inside on some more masking tape. That will be the aperture for the door. This line will be where the door actually meets on the face of it, because they're gonna be surface mounted doors. Right, okay. Because the hinges I'm using, I need to mark a line 20 mil inside this one, which will be my cut line. So, let's put some more masking tape down. mil from the mark. Is there? And I need to make those 20 mil marks the whole way around. These marks are now, I will now join up with a 
sharpie. Make it easier to see. I apologize about the noise outside. Doesn't sound like it's gonna end anytime soon. There you go, that's the square miles out. Now I need to make the radius of the aperture. So I'm using the smaller size big boy 250 mil body filleted. Like I've done with all other radiuses on this van. And that's where I will be cutting when I cut that aperture out. Right, so there you go. Right, so the best way to do this, work out what size doors you require on your vehicle. Once you've worked out a size, cut yourself a template. Then you can mark equal distance in from the top, work out if you're gonna have two doors, how far, from each side each door comes in. Put your tape down, draw around the door, and then measure in depending on what hinges you're using. Let me show you the hinges. These are the hinges that I'm using. And they're flush mount hinges. And they come from Screwfix. If you wanna see the code, it's on there. Quite big, yes, I know they're quite big compared to the size of the door, but that means they're heavy duty, they're going to be hard wearing, and that's what I wanted to fit on this project. Right, so there's one door there. What I need now is to drill a hole, get the jigsaw out, and cut round that. Right, so now we've got the hole drilled, I need to get the jigsaw. Now in here, I have got a very small blade and it's purposely set for going around corners. But when you're going along a straight line, it doesn't cut very straight. So when you're cutting with a jigsaw and one of those blades, take your time. If you don't take your time, you'll end up with curves like that. You're gonna end up with a certain amount of curve, but that will be covered up and compensated with the trim we put on the inside.
So there you go. Now once we've cut the doors out, overlap just nicely. Right, another good bit of advice, don't throw these bits of wood away because you might make cupboards or something and want a smaller door. So you can cut around this to cut that piece out. Right, I've got a little bit of trimming up to do there. because It's not quite straight cut where the hole was. That's better, I'm happy. Again, once the trim's on there, you won't notice any of this. Hi everybody, and I say good morning because it is good morning. So in your time there, it's been just a single moment. This side is going to be meeting another piece of furniture board. So I will be putting a slot all the way around here for the tea trim. <clears throat> that board is going to go in here. And hopefully today, if I can, I'm going to get this board here cut as well. So that will be the side of the kit where the kitchen starts. We will see, see how time goes. Um, I will come back to you once I've cut that board and I've put the tea trim on this board because I've showed you it on the bed build anyway, so it's not something I need to show you twice. But if you do have any questions regarding tea trim, regarding cutting the furniture board, routering or anything, leave me in the comments below. I've finished the panel in the back. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Right, so for me, this end of the bed is now completed. So there's the bed base. Two doors which you've seen inside of. So there you have the front end of the bed. And start the kitchen where the fridge is. So things are starting to get there. <laughs> 